Ask Me Anything with me, JJ Barnes. In this video, I do a weekly session where I do Ask Me Anything. I get sent questions, which I put all into this bag. Some of them are anonymous, so I don't know who sent them in. Others are sent in on social media, or I get comments on these videos. They are literally about anything. When I say Ask Me Anything, I am surprised regularly by actually what I get asked. So, they all go in here. If you are struggling to hear me, I'm so sorry. I, I had to not film last week because it was worse than this. <coughs> but I really, I'm gonna try my best to get videos filmed now because I've got a lot going on. So I'm having to batch film right now. I'm not gonna be able to do them spaced out because I've got a lot of things happening, but I'm gonna really try and not skip another week because I don't like to let you guys down. I like to do what I promise to do. So basically I'm gonna answer questions and we'll see what happens. And if you can't hear me properly, I'm genuinely really sorry. Okay, I'll start and we'll go and see what happens. All right, number one. Why are seagulls called seagulls when they are not only by the sea? Well, they're not called seagulls. Seagulls is like a nickname for them. They're actually gulls. And there's like different kinds of gull. Um, but this bird like genre, as it were, is gull. And then they get called seagulls because they're often by the sea. But yeah, that's why. <laughs> I don't know why I know that. <laughs> okay. Do you sleep on your front or back? Um, I sleep all over the place, really. I am um, front, back, side. I I don't sleep very much. Um, I don't sleep very well at all. So it, I, I wake up a lot and I move about and I'm, I'm always sort of trying to find a different position to sleep in because I don't sleep very well. Um, so yeah, any direction, really. If, if I get sleep, that's, I'm happy. That's all I really aim for. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Do you play any instruments? It's quite funny because I was just talking about this. Um, I've had lessons in um, piano, flute, clarinet, guitar, recorder, um, probably something else as well. And I did music theory. Um, but I'm not musical. <laughs> I'm not. I, I love music. I love listening to music and I love singing along to songs. I mean, not at the minute, <laughs> but I do. But not because I can create it or I really understand it, just because I like the sound of it. I was kind of funneled into music lessons because that's what my family did. They did music and I was a big disappointment because it. I just wasn't very good. I mean, I played in the school orchestra and everything, but mostly I just faked it. Like, I just pretended, because I used to play flute, I used to just pretend, because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I'm not very good at it, um, but I kind of felt morally obligated to. But as soon as I got old enough, I stopped. It wasn't for me. Okay. Who in your life has the best and worst luck? That's a question, isn't it? I don't know really. Um, one of my best friends, she tends to have bad luck. I mean, she hasn't got bad luck. She has a beautiful family and a husband and a lovely home and her dream job. So she's not unlucky. Like, she's got a great life. But she seems to have shit happen to all the time. Like, bad things seem to like, she gets ill and like surprising illnesses. And I don't know. I mean, I, I tend to think like so many of people have got good and bad luck. I mean, I, I look at me, I have good and bad luck. I get really stressed by how bad luck I get sometimes. I'm a right cosmic narcissist. I'm like, the universe is plotting against me. But I've not got bad luck. I've got a great life in so many ways. So I don't know really, because I think a lot of people have stuff going on that I don't know about. Like, we don't want to share all our bad news, do we? Okay. Oh, it's a very disappointing answer, isn't it? <laughs> what was your worst COVID side effect? Um, chest pain. I, I had COVID back in April, so like a year and a half ago, COVID. When it first was like sort of going across Britain, I got it in the first wave really. And um, I was very, very poorly, but I got better obviously. But now anytime I get ill, I get chest pain and I never used to have breathing problems or pain in my chest ever. I mean, I was very, very tired for a very long time. I had real lethargic like it was really difficult to recover from that but 
the chest pain is the worst because it's a year and a half ago and I still get it when I'm ill and it's the first time in my life I've really struggled with chest pain so that's a real pain in my butt I'm not going to do too many because I'm going to lose my voice completely I'm so sorry would you be happy without money? No. I want to feed my kids without money. <laughs> no, I would not. Unless the world changes so that you don't need money to have the stuff you need to survive. No, I would not be happy without money. I've got children who need to eat and they need clothes and they need a home. No. No, I'm not. Like, I know some people are very like noble and good and be like, oh, all you need is love. But no, I need my kids to have the stuff they need. So no, I would not be happy without me. Right, I'm going to do one more. <laughs> what places have you peed? <laughs> what places have I peed? Well, I pee in the toilet. That is most regular. I've probably peed in the sea. And as a kid, we used to go to the beach. I'd pee in the sea. Um, I don't know if I've peed in a pool. I think kids do pee in the pool, don't they? But I don't remember peeing in the pool. That doesn't mean I haven't. I'm not saying I'm above it or when I was a kid I wasn't gross. I just don't actively remember peeing in the pool. Oh, it's so hot up here. Oh, um, I've peed like on the grass. Like if we've been on like a long hike situation and I've had to pee, I've peed in the grass. Um, I've peed in different countries if that helps. I've peed in France, and I've peed in Germany, and I've peed in Greece, and I've peed in Spain, and I've peed in America, peed in Ireland, and Wales, and England. <laughs> Lots of places. I'm like a liberal peer, and like, I need to go, I've got to go. <laughs> so I'm really sorry I'm not doing too many today, I swear I'm trying. Um, hopefully next week's videos I won't be so croaky. Um, but yeah, thank you Cup, for joining me anyway. If you can't hear, I'm really sorry. It won't always be like this, I swear. Um, thank you so much for coming. Please subscribe to this channel. I'm mostly putting out videos every week. As I say, I did skip last week, but it was worse than this. So I'm sure you get it. <laughs> Um, I will be back again on Wednesday when I'll be doing writing advice and if you go to my website which is jjbarnes.co.uk over there you'll find links to all of my work, there's my social media and you can drop comments on here if you want to ask me questions and I put them all in the bag and I answer them at random, I never know what's going to come out, sometimes it's a bit strange <laughs> but it's cool so yeah if you want to get involved that's what's going on and yeah come find me and I'll be back again soon, bye!